WJZ is live. Amy Yanchi has more on the somber ceremonies held today in our area. Amy. Good evening, Marcus. There were quite a few tributes held across our region. Marylanders of all types coming together to pay their respects and honor those who lost their lives 15 years ago. <laughs> With the tolling of a bell, the victims who lost their lives on September 11th are remembered. Dozens coming together at the Parkville Fire Station to reflect on the worst terror attacks in U.S. history. Moments of silence mark the exact times each of the Twin Towers came crashing down. We made a promise, never forget, and that's what we're doing. A path of honor made up of nearly 3,000 flags for each of the victims killed 15 years ago. On this grim anniversary, the 69 victims from Maryland killed on 9-11 get an everlasting tribute. A rolling memorial dedicated to them and the Maryland servicemen and women who have lost their lives fighting terror. Here at the Sandstock Music Festival, the music and dancing were stopped for a brief moment so that the crowd could pay their respects to the victims of 9-11. Over at Fort McHenry, the massive flag flies at half staff as visitors learn about sacrifice. I want to remember what people have done for us. Runners and walkers taken to the streets of Baltimore for a run to remember. We would never give in to terrorists. The tribute event near Baltimore's World Trade Center kicking off at 8.46 a.m., the time when the first plane hit the first tower, changing New York's skyline and the country's history forever. As the organizers tell us that these events are dedicated to the first responders who died on 9-11 and those who keep people in Maryland safe every single day. Reporting live tonight, Amy NC, WJZ, Eyewitness News, back to you. Certainly a day many of us will never forget. Amy, thank you. Now, proceeds from the run to remember will go to the Baltimore City Police and Fire Foundations to help families of first responders that have lost their lives in the line of duty.